Hello, in this presentation, I want to show you my improved Excel file for cataloging and updating files lists of a folder and its subfolders. Starting from previous file, file catalog XLS. From beginning, this file is empty. First, I update the list for the first time. So, all files contained in current folder and subfolders are imported and linked in this table. Next, I copy and rename a picture, as you can see. In the Excel file, I will add a comment to any position. Next, I will push the button, Update List Periodical. As you can see, the list is automatically updated with the new picture file. Also, the previous comment inserted is preserved. Next, if in the folder, I delete one picture. In the Excel file, I want to update the table. Again, I will push the button, Update List Periodical. The file, I deleted from the folder, was also removed from the stable, and the list is updated again. Further, I want to explain you, my solution, and the VBA code that enables this update of file list. First, I will unhide a sheet named, Update List. This sheet, looks the same as previous one, with the same fields. Next, the VBA code in Module 3 does all the work for updating the table list. I will show and explain how it works this code line by line. Before doing this, in each sheet, I will unhide some columns to see the formulas behind. Back to code, with green are the deactivated lines for showing you line-by-line -line functionality. First is cal to subroutine clear range. That clears all fields of the update list sheet, preparing it for data import. The next line calls the import data subroutine, and the new data are imported. Next, is called, Insert Formula Fill Down Subroutine. Here are inserted formulas regarding if the current file is a new record or duplicate in update list sheet, and if the existing records are old or still existing in the list sheet. The formula, inserted in cell L7, is filled in, till the end row of the table, in each sheet. This is how I can know, if one row contains new records, or duplicate an update sheet, and still valid records, and old on existing records in sheet list. The next two lines are calling subroutines to delete the duplicate records in update list sheet and also the old unused records in the list sheet. In this way are maintained only the current records and the new ones. Next line calls the subroutine name copy update. This one, in case we have a new record in update list sheet, adds it to the end of sheet list. If there are no new records in the update list sheet, the list is updated. 
As you can see, the new record is added at the end of the table and sheet list. The next line calls a subroutine named replace empty cells that puts points in the empty cells in the comments row. The following code line calls sort data z subroutine that arranges in the right order the last row containing the new imported data. This is possible by filtering A to Z, the data in columns J and K. In each cell of row J is the file name and the file path in row K only the file path. Now the update is finalized. All the data are in the expected order as if the file was updated for the first time. But the comments are preserved. The final lines protects the sheet list and hides the update list sheet. So in the end, the table was updated with new records and old unreferences lines are removed. So you can keep an accurate evidence of the files contained into a specific folder.